Hello UTK printmaker. Today I would like to talk about uh, relief printing with a Sintra using a par grip carving tool. Here's a seven set car uh, par grip carving tool and each of them has a very unique ability to carve. First tool I'd like to talk about is a straight gouge. This is a great tool for long uh, straight lines or carved lines in this case. It's important to know that you can use the, the bottom part of the blade and then push away from you and moving forward with that. You can use a tip, uh, but you have to be really, really careful with using that tip and you don't want to break the tip. So using that uh, bottom part of the uh, straight gouge, very useful tool for long lines. Next tool I would like to talk about is this flat gouge. The flat one is the, uh, it's also it's really good for removing a large area, but the shaving off the things coming out on the surface. So start a combination between a uh, straight uh, gouge and then this flat gouge together. Great combination. So this is the uh, V gouge. It's probably the most uh, useful uh, tool that and, and a good go-to uh, tool. You can just do anything pretty much with it. Very easy to control it. And then you have to understand the V-gouge has a two blade. So use that, both blade. So this is a U-gouge, just a medium size. And then this is a good way to sort of remove the uh, relatively large area. And also knowing uh, while removing that, sort of kind of following that initial drawing, not 100%, but uh, so this is a, a relatively larger uh, the, you gouge and this is a very quick way to remove a lot of material in very fast manner so very you don't have to dig it deep really you don't have to carve uh, so deep at all so just remove the surface remove the part that you don't want to print and then uh, using the smaller you gouge uh, to do some detail work so back to v gouge again and this is a v gouge is a great tool to uh, use to have a uh, control over uh, like a circle, a spiral in this case, and then when you do that, you never, you never want to put your hands in front of that. So you want to rotate the material, and then uh, that's how you want to create the carved line. It's hard. Uh, so this is a smaller uh, U gouge, and for the uh, there's some details, and you can do that for uh, kind of circular motion as well. So, so co it's a it's a good idea to combine different kind of tool. And, uh, and we'll give you a different results out of it. And uh, you're gonna find some of the tool that, that your favorite you like, and then you know figure out the way to use those tools. I think that's the uh, important to be adaptable to the tools you have. And when you have a seven of them, you can do a lot of with those. After you reach to the certain point that you kind of carved it uh, enough, not 100%, but it's somewhere around 90% and then doing fine tuning you can always come back and carving it so uh, so that's kind of uh, the idea you want to have once you carve it out that's it you can't go back so it's always that you don't want to carve 100 percent just stop around 80 percent 90 percent somewhere you feel comfortable with it and last i'd like to show you this uh flat uh u gouge which is a great way to finish up the work potentially some parts are high enough it might catch some ink we don't know that yet so just do some cleanup job with this large U gouge, so which is that one right here. So, and this U gouge is great for cleaning up the, some of the material sticking out, and potentially will catch some ink. And so this is a good way to do a uh, final touch, to do clean the surface and make sure uh, the printing is going to go very well. All right. And then here, sometimes I make mistake, and then go back to the V gouge, and then just sort of follow up doing that and then you can always kind of change it up things so I mean there is a uh, I want you to follow the drawing although but you can start using our carving tool as a drawing tool to make that so this is a, a more close-up uh, image of the how what's really going on here so you can kind of see that I'm carving the red part leaving that black sharpie marker I'm not touching it and then but I'm carving on the red part okay so um, in order to cut precisely, you kind of have to, it's, it'll be very difficult to do at once, so you have to uh, revisit to do fine tuning. Here I would like to talk a little bit about the rhythm of carving 
and everybody has different rhythm and but I think it's important to know that um, it's a repetitive a, a lot of repetition this uh, uh, activity so in order to keep the activity going and then that's that's very important to find that right rhythm of the carving and make sure you take a break uh, you're handling that very sharp tool uh, when you're working too long without taking any break there is a potential you might cut yourself so this just be aware uh, that so know your limit and then yeah take a break and carving in and then have that good rhythm so that would be a very good um, way to carve the block okay after uh, done carving now we're moving on to the printing we're going to be using the same tally or water base ink that core ink the soy base ink and uh, and it's a roller and then so here I found this uh, uh, box from the salad the spinach baby spinach and then you can use that as a palette and then apply some ink we're just uh, printing a few so you don't need a whole lot of ink just tiny bit just like that that's why you that's what you need and then apply that on the palette like so and then using the roller to go back and forth and distribute the ink and evenly and then first go really slow and then go fast changing a direction of the roller to make that even distribution of the ink so go really really fast going quick which means I'm charging up the ink so now ink has been charged into the roller and going fast got back and forth and I apply the ink very very slowly and then don't do the uh, round trip go forward one way street and then lift the roller up and then charge the ink don't go back when you go back you're potentially removing the ink from the block now we're feeding the ink into the block so it's really uh, when you apply that roller on the block go really really slow okay and then I mean you can uh, print uh, but the, the, there is if there is not enough ink on the surface it will never print well so make sure you have a sufficient amount of ink on the block so that the speed of the roller is a very critical all right when you're moving the roller on the pallet really fast you're picking up the ink and on the block go slow and then we're using a new sprint for this project and then for the balun uh, rubbing the device uh, you can pick many things and I hear I'm introducing you uh, this a light bulb and then uh, some of the times I use the ceramic spoons they're wonderful um, metal spoon sometimes it heats up uh, this is an ice cream scooper it is a metal uh, it does heat up a bit uh, but this is a great device anything smooth and hard and uh, um, that will work and then rub it from the back side you don't have to press that hard remember the Sintra is a relatively s uh, soft material so so here's this a uh, uh, wooden uh, uh, spoon I think it was a bamboo so um, you know, smooth surface and uh, this is my favorite one this is a jar glass jar works wonderful and it's small it's very portable so that's how you print on the newsprint newsprint is going to be very easy paper to print with and then that's what I'd like to do, do first okay so that's print looking good so it's a when I evaluate you look the block and you compare it and they they're good, uh, similar enough that's probably uh, that's that the condition so cleaning up the block uh, overall I just use a new sprint and print on it and then never ever take the block into the sink and rinse with water reason that is that you want to keep that grooved area uh, uh, clean and white uh, so that if ink does gets in there and then uh, the image get confused and then if you want to carve more it's very difficult so but roller, yes, you can uh, submerge into the water. And uh, if you really want to do a thorough cleaning, you can do a uh, dish detergent. I like to use the citrus soap, and that cleans very well. But uh, water will be sufficient, and then uh, try to take care. You're going to be using this roller for the rest of, rest of the semester. So, And when you finish it, just uh, wipe it out with a dry newsprint to remove that excess uh, ink. All right that's all it is so happy carving and printing and um, uh, take care of yourself now i'll see you around thank you very much all right have a good one